Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome again, guys. So we talked about the, you know, uh, Griffith experiment. We also talked about the Oswald Avery and his co-worker experiment. And in these two experiments, we, you know, watched that DNA is a genetic material. But still, these two experiments was not, uh, you know, uh, accepted 100%. The last experiment uh, today in this video lecture that we are going to talk about that was Hershey Chase Hershey and Chase experiment in 1952 okay today in this video lecture we are going to talk about this one experiment okay they also proved that DNA is also a genetic material but they proved that DNA is a genetic material 100% 100% they proved that DNA is a genetic material okay now how they prove that dna is a genetic material before that to, to explain this one experiment you guys need to understand about the oswald avery and his co-worker experiment and you need to understand the grip experiment once you get idea about that so then this one uh, lecture will be very easy because this one lecture is matching to that two video lecture that which i already explained okay it is present into matter you can watch it so please stay tuned and continue to watch the video okay so let me explain the hershey and chase experiment now to explain this experiment you know uh, he take uh, uh, different kinds of component uh, and different uh, you know they get they take the bacterial cell as well as they take the bacteriophage uh, before going to explain uh, hershey and chase experiment let's uh, first of all talk that what are actually transduction transduction are that phenomena in which the bacteriophage can infect the bacterial cell or when the bacteriophage can transfer the genetic material to the bacteria and infect the bacterial cell we call that a uh, transduction okay now what actually happen uh, hershey and chase what actually they do they take bacterial cell and in bacterial cell they take e coli e coli okay now e coli was the most successful bacteria and every scientist used the e coli uh, for his experiment okay because they contain all the necessary substance they contain all the necessary enzymes they contain all the necessary uh, things uh, inside the e coli so scientists always use the e coli for many experiment okay now for the bacteriophage they use a virus which we call it t2 phage t2 phage now the structure of this virus will be look like in this form okay so this is how the bacteriophage and this is the genetic material of the bacteriophage okay now what actually happened in this experiment they take this bacterial cell and they take this uh, you know uh, t2 phage as well as they also use the radioisotope element as well and he used two type of the radioisotope one was uh, sulfur and they also you know take culture number 2 Now what actually happened in culture number one and culture number two? This culture number one was specially, you know, performed for the protein. And this was performed for the DNA. Okay, now what actually happened in this? In the first, you know, uh, experiment, in the first culture, they take this E. coli cell, okay, and allow them they take this e coli cell and t2 phage same in this case also e coli plus t2 phage now they allow this two culture uh, that uh, for this purpose that t2 phage attack on e coli and they cause the infection inside the equilibrium. So the first step was the infection. So this was the infection step. 
or we can say that was the you know uh, adsorption phase now in this case this t2 phage contain you know they contain the s35 radioisotope in the capsid area because capsid area is made up of protein and uh, this phage uh, was contained with the uh, phosphorus 32 because dna uh, they take the dna with the phosphorus 32 okay and uh, now after that what actually happen what actually happen after that the bacterial cell was infected by this page as well as in this culture the bacterial cell was also infected by this page in the second step you know in the second step they perform agitation process or blinding process now in this st step what happened the phage which don't contain the genetic material uh, now in this experiment we don't know uh, protein or genetic material or uh, dna or genetic material we don't know about it but the phage which don't contain the, the dna this phage was uh, removed okay so the phage was removed and the bacterial cell which contain this you know this is the bacterial cell they contain the now in this case they take the bacterial cell in the, the bacterial cell contain this chromosomes and as well as this bacterial cell can contain the genetic material of uh, this two two this t2 phage also okay now after some time in the third again at this stage in this culture too they also perform this blending and agitation process again the same result we also get in this case okay again this is the genetic material as well as there are also you know uh, the genetic material of this t2 phage also and this was also the genetic material of the t2 phage also in the culture number one now after some time they perform the centrifugation uh, process centrifugation now in this process what happen they you know uh, produce two layer the first layer was uh, uh, you know a uh, super natant and the second layer was the pellet in supernatant the supernatant layer was contained uh, layer contained the phage particles and some other uh, uh, proteins segments and other portion as well okay so phage and other portion and this pellet form this pellet form contain the E. coli cells the E. coli cells having the phage okay T2 phage okay now in this case they you know take the pellet solution and grow it on the culture so they you know uh, perform the culture second time so they perform the culture second time so this is the pretty print and they found the bacterial cell and that culture and they also found the radioactivity phenomena radio or they also found the florences okay they found the florences uh, sorry they didn't found the florences in this culture number they didn't found the florences as well as they didn't found the radioactivity they didn't know radioactivity no okay they don't find these kinds of things in this experiment and in this experiment they found the radioactivity they found the radioactivity and they found the florences okay now what actually he concluded from this two culture in the first culture they concluded that if the protein was our genetic material definitely they will show the radioactivity 
if the protein was our genetic but definitely they will show the radioactivity but in this case they don't show the radioactivity because the protein material was not internalized okay that's why radioactivity was not done in the second case radioactivity was done fluorescence was checked and this show that dna was actually inserted protein was not inserted the capsid area which contained the protein it was remain outside and the genetic material was internalized but in this case the genetic material mean the dna was not taked or the protein was taked so the protein was taked and it was removed out that's where no radioactivity was found in this case the dna was internalized and the dna in this case we take the dna with phosphorus okay so we check the dna radioactivity and we check the fluorescence that's why you know uh, they uh, uh, that's why from this experiment it was proved that the dna is actually a genetic material so in this case the protein was also remain outside the dna was just get internalized and the dna as you better know that it was you know taked with phosphorus so they showed the radioactivity in this case the protein was taked with sulfur and it was remain outside but the radioactivity was not found and it shows that the dna was get internalized but the dna was not taked okay it was not taken the protein was taken in this first culture and the second culture the dna was taken so in the second culture we check the radioactivity and in the first culture we don't you know uh, watched or we don't saw the radioactivity or the fluorescence so from from this experiment it was 100% proved that actually the dna is a genetic material